If you have a grapevine that's overgrown, see him? When you water the grapevine, hi everybody, welcome back. We just filmed a whole video about the grapevine without, filming without recording. <laughs> I I didn't hit the record button, or I thought I hit the freaking record welcome button. Welcome my world. <sighs> my life, I'm telling you. And I broke my toe, too. You did quite a bit. Yeah, I broke my toe, so that's happening. You did a lot. And I stubbed it. It's, it's just a day. It's being a day. We're working on our grapevine today. Yes. That's what we're doing. I'm, I'm trimming out... I've been, I've been, first of all, I've been reading because I'm not a grapevine professional, and neither is Rob. No. I guess we can call it that. First of all, let me show you what I've gotten out of the grapevine. I realize this is kind of the wrong time of year to do this. I should have done it earlier. And I think these grapes are just going to be for the birds this year because, as you can see, they're not really filling out. But these, all these grapes were underneath the leaves. So I've been trimming them out. Um, so they could get some sun and some air circulation through there. That's what we're doing. I also noticed, do you still have that leaf? No, I do not. You don't have it? I also noticed a leaf that has red spots on it. So Rob has this and a sprayer that he's going to, he's going to spray the leaves today. What I have determined is, I took a picture of it and I asked my Google Lens and it has shown me that it is a mildew. That's what we had two years ago. Yeah. Two years ago, my daughter and I, let me, oh, let me show you. Two years ago, my daughter and I, at the end of the season, because the grapevine had mildew and all the things, Whoa. we trimmed it way back to the bottom. There's just too many grapes on this vine. If you well, look downy down- Downy mildew. Downy mildew, okay. If you look down here at the root, you can see that one right there, I totally cut off. I think one more needs to go. I think this year when the grape season is over, we'll end up taking one of those off. Rob has also talked about making this grapevine a little bit bigger. Somehow, I don't know what he's thinking, but yeah. So right now, I mean, if you have a grapevine that's overgrown, Trim it back because the grapes need to have air. They have need to have the air circulation and they need to have the sun. If they don't have that, the grapes won't fill out. So as you see, our grapes are not filling out. I'm sure this year we're gonna leave, them, leave these to the birds. Right. Look, at, we have one already turning their color there. Now all of these grapevines down here I'm going to strip all the leaves off of them and look on the Pinterest and make a craft with all these. See him? There's a beetle. We've got beetles on here, Rob. The one year that I did that and I had all these grapevines, nobody wanted them. And I didn't do anything with them. I didn't want to do anything with them then. So Rob's going to spray this and hopefully we'll have grapes. This is our bait plant. We're going to bait all the bugs and animals to the grapevine so they leave our garden alone. That's what we're doing. Bigfoot. When you water the grapevine, don't water the leaves. Water it at the base of the plant because that watering the leaves may cause mildew. I found the leaf that I was talking about. See the spots that are on the grapevine leaf? That, that's what we're spraying for. And there's a little bug on there too. But hopefully the birds will enjoy them this year. And hopefully we can treat it in Maybe next year it won't be so bad. I know we've been treating this for two years and the first year we started treating it, it was really bad. It was really bad. So I know it's doing, it's helping, it's doing something. I also have planted pumpkins down here. Hopefully those will grow. The ones in the front of the house look a little better, but you keep forgetting they're back here to walk. at least for like the next year. Are these gonna be organic grapes? No, they're not. 
No, but that I'm okay with that. This is how we're taking care of our grapevine, and this is what we've been doing for the last two years. And something, obviously, something is working. And I wish I would have gotten out here a little sooner than now and trimmed out all of that excess because maybe the grapes would have filled out better. So anyway, we'll keep you updated on our grapevine. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna go replant some, some of my cactus plants. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye.